LeBron James warned his army of fans not to try and replicate his buzzer-beating heroics at home after he earned the Cavaliers a 3-0 playoff lead over the Raptors in sensational style. With overtime looming on Saturday, James left the Raptors on the verge of elimination with a running one-hander that secured a 105-103 win and sent the quick and lones arena wild. Taking possession in midcourt, James surged down the left before floating a two-pointer to seal a dramatic victory and leave him with 38 points for the night. His latest eye-catching moment is bound to inspire many to try and make a similar shot themselves, but that is not something the four-time MVP recommends. T. Lu, coach Tyrone Liu, was the one who told us to take it full court, knowing that I have more than enough time to get the ball up the court, James said after the game. It doesn't allow the defense to sit and see what you're going to do because you're going at such a fast pace. They can't really load, they can't double team because one shot can lose you the game if you give up a wide open look, most likely you're not going to like the results of that. So the level of difficulty of that shot, it is very difficult. Don't try it at home. Listen, tie game, down one, whatever the case may be, I live for those moments, he added. I told y'all in the Indiana series, that mental clock of being a kid and telling myself 3, 2, 1, and making the noise of the net. I've been doing that since I was 6, 7, 8 years old, it's the things that you dream about, that you get those opportunities, and I've been fortunate enough to get a handful of those in some of the biggest moments in my career. When do I decide which shot I am going to take? To be honest, sometimes I don't know, but I'm confident in every shot I take because I work on every shot, I practice every shot I take in-game, no matter when I take it, I feel pretty comfortable with it.